Hey guys, welcome back. Today, um, I want to talk about a palette that I've recently purchased. Um, it is from Bad Habit. Um, a few weeks ago, I had won the Aphrodite pa uh, palette by Bad Habit, and I went to their website, and I was looking at the other palettes they had, and I found one that was stunning on the, um, on the website, and I just had to get it, and it was very inexpensive. So, um, if you would like to see what palette I purchased, just keep watching. And if you like this video, please give it a big old thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe before you leave. So, the palette that I bought from Bad Habit was the Athena palette. Um, I won this one in a giveaway thanks to Michaela, and I will leave all her information linked down below so y'all can go check her out and tell her that I sent you. Um, this is the palette right here. All the colors swatch very nicely. So whenever I used this one and how everything blended and swatched and it was just a great palette. So I went and I purchased this one. It would help to turn it around, wouldn't it? I purchased the Athena palette. And this is what it looks like right here. Um, I'm going to give y'all some swatches and <clears throat> talk about it a little bit. So you get 18 colors and I paid, I think it was... $12 for this palette and um, they have some it looks like some mattes with a little shimmer in it um, then you got like some duochrome shades and then you have this glitter one right here and this one I would definitely recommend you use either like a glitter glue or a setting spray to apply it and I don't have any glitter glue so I'm going to swatch it with the setting spray and see how that works because it doesn't swatch that well without something to bind it but I'm gonna go ahead and swatch some of these dual chrome shades for you I want to do epic which is this color right here and let's see There's Epic. It's like a pink color with a bluish purple shift to it. You can't really, it's not really coming off on camera like I would like it, but you can definitely see it in the palette itself. And in person, you can see the shift that it has. Um, I'm going to go and do Wisdom, which is like a purple shimmer shade right here. There's Wisdom. Um, as far as Fallout goes, of course, they do have Fallout. So with these colors, I will recommend you use a setting spray of some sort to um, get better pigmentation out of them. Or use your fingers to apply them because, you know, with your fingers, you definitely get the pigment that you want. So I'm going to go ahead and do Daring, which is that glitter shade right here. And I'm just going to put some setting spray on my finger first. And see how it works like that. Okay. Yeah, there is, it's called daring. And let me, yeah, you definitely gonna need some kind of type of glitter glue or setting spray with that one, and that is daring. So that is gonna be like an amazing topper for your eyeshadow look. Um, you can see the glitter in it. Um, it's. Fallout wise, um, it does have some, but like I said, if you use a setting spray, it will minimize the fallout that you will have. Um, let's do some of these matte shades right fast. Or I can just go ahead and go down the row and um, swatch all of them for you. That way you can see exactly what's going on. Now I got glitter all over my fingers from that last one, and I'm trying to wipe it off. So I don't transfer any glitter into the other colors. Oh, that's as good as it's going to get. Okay. We're going to go in with Fierce, Trump, Velour, Purity. Now, Velour and Purity look like they'll be some... Um, Purity looks like it'll be a good color to like set your eyeshadow primer. And Velour would be like a good transition shade. So this is four of them right here. Um, Fierce, Trump, Velour, and Purity. And we have... Let's 
There they are. Like I said, very pigmented, and they do have fallout, which, I mean, you're going to get that with your shimmer shades. But as far as the mattes, they have a little kickback, but in fallout, it's not that much. So you can't really see purity. So like I said, that would be a good color to set your eyeshadow primer down with. Then we're going to go in with the last two shades in that row, and that is Truth and Heroic. Truth is like a pukey green looking color um but it comes off a little brown there is truth and heroic right here i know my swatches suck so bear with me i'm sorry i just want to show y'all the full effect of these shadows then we have gleam which is a duochrome epic is a duochrome medusa and Justice. Justice is this purple shade right here. This is Medusa, Epic, and Gleam. There, that's four. Let's see. Gleam, Epic, Medusa, and Justice. And I'm going to go ahead and swatch the last two in that row and that will be lore and power so let's see lore it's like a burnt orange shade power is it like a deep brownish red color let's see there is power right here and lore okay i'm going to switch arms <laughs> then we're going in with the last row and you get divine Cunning, Wisdom, and Prize. So, Divine, Cunning, Wisdom, and Prize. That's those right here. Let me stand up a little bit. That's those shades right there. Divine, Cunning, Wisdom, and Prize. And then the last two um, is that um, glitter color, the glitter shade that I showed you that you're going to need a setting spray for. So I'm going to wet my finger a little bit. Daring and Clever. Clever looks like it's going to be a good crease shade to deepen your crease, give it some depth. So here is Daring. and clever yeah daring you're definitely gonna need i would recommend a glitter glue over a setting spray but if you don't have glitter glue on hand a setting spray will work it just won't be as solid as a glitter glue because with the setting spray it is kind of patchy as you can see but it's still gorgeous um but i think a glitter glue would work really well with that color so those are those two shades <clears throat> So that is the Bad Habit Athena palette. It comes with a big old big mirror right here. So you get a nice size mirror. You know, you get the same mirror with this palette too. But um, I cannot wait to really play with this palette because the colors are absolutely beautiful. Um, <clears throat> and just from the way they swatch, I haven't really played with them on my eyes just yet. And I will do that. Um, I think this palette will do a good Christmas look or holiday look, so I can't wait to play with it for that. But uh, I will update y'all on how they blend out on your eyes and everything. Um, so, yeah. But as of now, I do recommend it. I mean, it's only $12, and if you look at it, and if you've seen the Huda Beauty Desert Dust palette, it kind of reminds me of that palette, and that palette is $65, and this one is $12. So if you can get the same effect out of this palette as you can a $65 palette and you really want the $65 one, I would go with this one, especially if they're going to blend just as well and work just as well. And the colors are so similar for what I've seen because I don't own the Desert Dust palette. So as of now, I'm really liking this one. And like I said, I cannot wait to play with it on my eyes and see exactly how they blend out. I mean, they blend great on 
you know, my arms, but your arms and eyes are different textures, you know, different types of, you know, textures. So, uh, <clears throat> they may blend out great on my arm, but look like crap on your eyes. So, um, we'll definitely have to play with that. So, I cannot wait to dig into it. So, let's see. Let's count how many times I said so in this video and leave that down below. Um, yeah. Don't know. Just crazy. Uh, it's been a crazy week. Got Christmas coming up, so my brain is just all over the place. So, there I went. I said it again. I said it again. Uh, but anyway, yeah, that is it for today's video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below. And like I said in my last video, I'm trying to reach 100 subscribers. And when I do, I want to do a little giveaway to give back to my subscribers that watch my videos, that leave the comments, you know and everything. I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Um, I love you guys. So until my next video, bye.